I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. If you would like to earn some volunteer hours this Thanksgiving, the Okeechobee Community Feast, sponsored by New St. Stephen Church, needs help serving and delivering Thanksgiving meals. Contact Mrs. Sheila Bradley for more information. Attention all seniors, check your email to vote for prom themes. Hello, my name is Mr. Connor, and I'm the new intervention counselor here at Okeechobee High School. And I'm located in the media center, and I'm available during school hours. I can help students address many different issues, including, but not limited to, uh, relationship issues, family issues, and even addiction or addictive behaviors. Uh, I am going to be located primarily here at the Okeechobee High School main campus, but I'm also going to be available at the freshman campus as well as Okeechobee Achievement Academy. So if you're in need of counseling and you need someone to talk to, please stop by. And teachers and staff, if you are interested in referring a student, please stop by as well. So take care and have a great rest of your day. We made it, Brahmins. It is Friday, Friday before your Thanksgiving break. It's here. So you have got one day left. So by the time you see this, it'll be third hour. So you got to get through third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And if you have a seventh, successfully by the end of the day, and then you will get to start your break. So we are shooting for 210 right now, successful and productive. Okay, I've got a ton of shout outs, so I'm gonna say that for the end. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna talk for a minute to dual enrollment students. Uh, the forms are flying in. I signed a, a stack of them yesterday. Remember that completing that form is the first step to get you into that class. You also have to go in once that form is processed. And there's a three question survey. And what once you complete that survey, that locks your place in that class. So once you do the form, a couple of days later, check your river mail, complete your survey, and then you are good to go. And again, our priority deadline is December the 13th. So if you have your form in and your survey filled out and that taken care of for dual enrollment in the spring by that date, then we can guarantee you a textbook for the first day of class. If you procrastinate, <coughs> seniors, then you might not get your book the first day and we won't be able to do anything about that because there's a point where those books open up to the general population and not just dual enrollment students and so you want to make sure you get yours in. Um, speaking of seniors, well we have doubled the number of students that have now ordered cap and gowns. We are now up to 126, what? Which, which means about a third of the senior class is proper, was going to be properly dressed for graduation. Come on people, time's ticking. All right, so two ways and if you need an information packet with this, we have some in the office. See Ms. Ammons today. We'll get you one if you need to mail in payment, if, if um, doing that online or over the phone is not an option. Um, please come by and get the packet. It has the order form and the mailing address in there if you need to mail it. So you can mail in your order. Jostens.com. You can take care of it there. And then I'm going to give you option number three because after December 2nd, this is going to be your only option. There is a phone number you will call. Are you ready? Write this down. 321-242-2055. And that should be scrolling on the screen now, purpose box. So seniors, senior parents, 126. That's really sad, okay? I don't want you to have to pay more money. Please get those ordered. 
Um, if you have questions or don't know if your name is on the list because you see your parents in passing, email me. I have the list and I can confirm or deny that you are on it at this point. Good luck to our rodeo club as they travel to Bellevue this weekend. So send us some updates. Ms. Trent, let us know how things go with that competition and we'll certainly put that on the announcements when we come back after break and post some pictures. Yes, that would be good too. And Jenny Bowen, a special happy birthday to Miss Bowen. That comes from Aww. all of the, the lovely pairs that work in the room with her. So happy birthday, Miss Bowen. I'm not gonna throw your age out there. Be nice. <laughs> all right, there's several uh, sports announcements and I know Miss Myers is gonna do a couple of these, but girls soccer won last night, five to one for JV and two to nothing for varsity. And I think yeah. they have exceeded their record for all of last year this wow. early in the season. Mm -hmm. So congratulations wow. to Coach Swant and the girls. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Also, a couple of gals from the uh, weightlifting team uh, made their personal best, and I don't have all of their names, but one of them was Juliana Sheldon. Please shoot me an email with the rest of you guys, and we'll make, we'll make sure your names are mentioned. But good job on that, too. Coach Kramer and Coach Whitlock, good job on that. And then do not forget, please, that there is no parking in the parking lot from 1123 to 1126. So if you have some work to do next week or at practice or what have you, you're going to have to park in the grass over by the baseball field. Mm -hmm. Should we mention uh, Ms. Coleman getting into nursing school? She's sure. a former student. Yeah, well, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. You, you want to? Yeah. All right. Congratulations. We know she's here subbing today, Rayleigh Coleman. She will be, uh, she had been, she's gotten in, accepted into nursing school. So we're very proud of her. She's a former student, former athlete here. Mom still works here, Miss Coleman. So great job, Rayleigh. Uh, you know, looking forward to that. Good job. Yep. 2017 nice graduates. Congratulations. All right. We have some shout outs. Mm -hmm. Girls basketball last night. That place was packed. I have not seen that gym that packed for a girls basketball game in years. In fact, we had to pull out the South Side bleachers, which again, we have not had to do that in two years. So congratulations to you all. Not only did you bring in a packed house, but you also brought down the win. Um, they won last night 51 to 39. They pretty much dominated that game the whole way, kept their lead, um, especially through that second half. Looking good out there. If you have not seen them play yet, you're gonna wanna make sure that you catch them. Tonight, boys soccer is at home. Um, they're going up against Fort Pierce Central. JV will start at five o'clock, so come out and support your Brahmin soccer players. Um, band is heading to their state competition in Daytona Beach tomorrow. So good luck to all of our band. I know they've been working in hard. They put in a 10 hour practice last week, trying to get ready for this. Speaking of band, do you know why the turkey wanted to join the band? Cause he already had his own drumsticks. <laughs> you love it. I know you love it. <laughs> Those are fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. So our drama one act competition crew and cast are on the road already this morning. They left about 630 this morning heading over to Vero Beach High School. So good luck to you all. It's a two day competition. Um, we want to see some pictures and some results posted to that. ROTC, JROTC is um, traveling to do their promotion board. So good luck to those four students who are participating in that. And I think I've gotten to the bottom of my list. Mm -hmm. These guys love my jokes. You know that, right? We, we really do. Yeah, I know they do. I'm just waiting right now, just waiting. <laughs> they really want me to stop, but I can't quit cold turkey. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna move forward oh wait before we move forward we're going not going to be in school for an entire week know that we want all of our brahmins to be safe during this break if you if you've ever spent any time in the office you're going to hear miss ammon's voice when i tell you this make good choices wear your seat belt we want to see you back safely and happy on december 2nd have a wonderful time with your families over your break Move forward. Be great. And be Brahmins. All day.